want to show you how to play Tennessee Whiskey, as sung by Glenn Stapleton. If you want the letter notes for that, go to letternoteplayer.com. I have them there for you. Let's start the melody. Now, because you've got these sharps, it's going to be awkward for me to say all the notes. And his melody is so fluid that it kind of flows through there. So you have a C sharp, B, and an A. And then you've got a C sharp and an E and an F sharp. And he, and he throws in the B and the A at the end there. Then we go back to the C sharp, E, F sharp. B. So you can see you've, you've got all of these notes and it's all played within them. An A, B, C sharp, E, F sharp. It's all played within an octave right there. And here we go out of it to the E. The chorus is E, F sharp, A, C sharp. And Tennessee Whiskey is C sharp, B, A, C sharp, B. And we're back to the C sharp, B, F sharp. And we add an A on top. Then back down E, C sharp. F sharp, E, C sharp. Then we've got a little extended. Now what that is is E F sharp A G sharp F sharp G sharp F sharp E F sharp E C sharp E F sharp E C sharp B A. I'm gonna slow it down so you can hear it without me talking. And for the fingering there, I have to use specific fingering to make it work for my hand. I start off on a thumb, and then I use all four fingers, except for the little finger, and then I switch over. When I go over the thumb, I come back with an index finger, and then I play my E with the middle finger. And then I go over the thumb again on that C sharp B A. index finger on that A or you can switch to a thumb there. So that you go A, A, F sharp, B, C sharp, C sharp, A, 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 A B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, you fall off of the B with the A and the F sharp. And then F sharp, A, B, C sharp, B, A, E, C sharp, B, A, C sharp, B, A. And of course his melody flows in different different ways through that thing, but that's basically got it. And then you have to fit it in with the bass. So the bass is... F sharp, E, F sharp, A, B, D and F sharp, B minor, B, D and F sharp, pop it, B, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, B, D and F sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, C sharp. There's your implied D. You, you slide up to a D and F sharp and back down to the C sharp, C sharp and E. Then F sharp, E, F sharp, A. So that basic pulse goes through there. And that's the uh, the basic pulse for the introduction. And the introduction will start with E, F sharp, A, C sharp. Put them together and I'll go slowly. Now the key to this thing is to take it slowly and start with your left hand, get your left hand to where it's kind of functions and then add that melody on top of it. So the 
that you can see the melody will fit right in with that little pulse that you get from the introduction. And the introduction melody right hand is E, F sharp, A, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, C sharp, B. Four C sharps to B, and then C sharp, B, A, A. I'll play it again so that you, and then we'll go into the melody again. go right together the F sharp E F sharp A right with the C sharp B A and then the C sharp comes in on the F sharp again the C sharp on the F sharp Is, uh, so fluid that you just kind of have to fit it onto the left hand and make it fit if you just take your time now here I don't play the D in the F sharp in the left hand because I'm going to go I'm going to fall off of that B so the F sharp is going to be carried by the right hand The, when I go to the uh, to the up to the A right there with the melody, now see there we've got a B7 that actually implies that D chord, but it's really a B7 right there, B B minor seven, B D F sharp A. See, it's still a B minor seven. to that E and then lift off the E with the right hand and then play with the left hand. And then we're into the chorus in the Tennessee Whiskey. So you play this F sharp and then the, the right hand comes in with it in unison. E, F sharp, A, C sharp. And if you just play the right hand just the way he sings it and fall in with that E, F sharp, B. Now here it's. So the F sharp and the C sharp go together. And then the F sharp and the G, go, G sharp go together. And then put an A on top of that to make it a seventh chord. That's how that part fits together, and I'll play it one more time slowly for you. I'll go slowly with it. Now you come in after this E in the left hand. E, F sharp, so the F sharps go together. And then the A's go together. And what I did is I simplified the left hand there so that the left hand doesn't get in the way. All we're going to play is an A, C sharp and E, A, so we're not, not, not going to pop that twice. Now if you pop it twice, it's okay. But it makes it simpler to, with all that right hand information to just uh, simplify that left hand. And there you got three F sharps together. back 
second, you can emphasize the E and the C sharp. Now the intro to the second verse sounds like you're going to the chorus, but he comes right back with the verse. change just a little bit. Now this is a weird thing because you, you've got a lot of notes in it. So you can fit them in however you want to. He just kind of fluidly throw, uh, throws through there. But C sharp, E, F sharp, C sharp, B, A, F sharp. E. He does there he goes he goes f sharp e f sharp e f sharp a f sharp b so it's all with a, f sharp e f sharp b f sharp a f sharp b i play it like this and then i come out of that so you gotta get off of that e and come in with the left hand There. And he goes up an octave and hits that high A, comes out of the F sharp and back into the chorus. So you've got to be ready for it because it'll spring on you. You've got B. And you can hold that back as long as you want to. And hit that A as hard as you can. Same with the F sharp. And then we're into the chorus. And here, you don't hit that. Yeah, he just, so in the left hand, he doesn't fall off of it. He holds that B. So in the left hand, you can just do the D and F sharp. Now here he changes the melody a little bit to B, C sharp, B, F sharp, A. However you want to finger that will work okay. Just kind of C sharp B F sharp A is the F sharp is quick. And now we're going into that guitar interlude where you've got now he only plays one note, but I'm gonna play two because it makes it sound a little little more um, uh, dissonant right there. It's, it's, it gives a little bit more of an oomph to it. So I'm gonna play the C sharp and the E right there instead. He's got a guitar sound and it sounds pretty good on that C sharp, so I'm just going to add a little chaff there with the uh, E on top of it. And hold it back. Now, these notes are going to be D, D, E, D, C sharp, B and D. I'm going to do the same thing on the B. I'm going to add a D on top of it, and then, then, he, plays, then, he, C, uh, then he plays D, E, C sharp. He goes C sharp, B. But I'm going to go C sharp, B and D, so I'm going to go straight eights. D, E, C sharp. Now that one's tough to play, so you've got to finger it. If you have to leave out that C sharp grace note, you can. That's the way it'll sound. So let me, so let me take it again from the introduction, in instrumental uh, guitar interlude right there from the beginning. down 
to this E. And you're going to go E, F sharp, A, F sharp, A, C sharp, E, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, B, D, C sharp, A, F sharp, and okay, we'll get to that in a minute. So you're going to come all the way down. And it goes quickly. Then jump right up to a C sharp. doesn't fill out anything else you just hold it and then let off of it right there so let's start with that now this one is tough you got F sharp and A E and then C sharp and F sharp A B A F sharp F E F sharp A B C sharp B A play that fast like and then you go right back down to that E so let me go slowly with it so you can see it F sharp and A E F C sharp and F sharp B A F sharp E F sharp A B C sharp B A E F sharp A B F sharp E F sharp A B A C sharp E F sharp E so the guitar is going to wind ourselves right back into the chorus but he has a lot of notes in there then we've got and what I have to do there is I have to go E F sharp A with thumb, index finger, middle finger and then switch the middle finger to right here to get that middle finger and the, and the C sharp on the ring finger and then I'm back to I've got my fingers ready for E F sharp A and then slow it down Let's do that part. And if you need to slow it down, just slow it down. Don't worry about it because it's an interlude there. It's an interlude. So let, let me play, play it without talking this time. And no, remember that you start this inter instrumental guitar interlude up on this E. through the course again. Now for the second chorus I soften it down. So if you want to you can play one of them up an octave. I mess around with it, but I, I, I like to stay in the lower octave so that it, it just sounds a little more subdued, but you don't have to. You can take it up right there. So, but I do soften it up there. Now here he 
goes down to the F sharp. So I just play a B, a D right there. And then just fill out the chord. It's C sharp and the E. There you have it. Uh, Tennessee Whiskey is sung by Glenn Stapleton. Hope you enjoy playing it.